Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. <coughs> it's early. <coughs> I'm really excited for today's video because you've gotten ready with me. We did our everyday makeup. Well, my everyday makeup. We did my everyday hair routine, sort of. And now we're gonna get unready with me and all of my Glossier products. I have been using Glossier for almost three years now. I started with just a few products and they've expanded their line so much and I am obsessed with it. Their branding, their founder, Emily Weiss, Weiss, I don't know what her name is. I just think she's awesome and the whole line is awesome and they've really grown to have quite the cult following. So get unready with me today. Over the last few months, I'm really pumped because Glossier finally put out a list of what order you're supposed to do things in, which is really helpful when trying to get your skincare routine right. So first thing I use is the Milky Oil. It is a makeup remover. You just shake it up. When it's settled, it you can tell how separate it is. It is like an oil on top of a water, but I really like this makeup remover. I often find that not all makeup removers are that good at getting things off, especially eyebrow gel. This one is really good and really gentle. I just have to be careful with it when using it around my eyes because it is an oil and I have lash extensions and you don't wanna get oil on your lash extensions. Glossier also sells cotton rounds you can buy with their classic G logo on it. They're pretty expensive and I feel like you can just get a regular cotton round at any drugstore. If you saw my get ready with me video, you know that the neck is really important and you shouldn't skip it when doing your makeup. And so you really shouldn't skip it when taking off your makeup either. And then usually I do this step in the shower cause I wash my face in the shower. Again, scandalous, can't take you in there. So I brought my products out. We're gonna do it together. So obviously in the shower, my face would be a little bit wet. So I'm just gonna get it wet with this face cloth. And then something I'm really excited about that is not Glossier, but they don't make it. I recently bought this Foreo Luna. It was on sale at Sephora and I am obsessed. I told you guys I have their toothbrush and then when I saw this one on sale, I was like, I gotta have it. So I just put a little bit of my Milky Jelly Cleanser on my Luna. Also this Foreo Luna thing, it connects to an app and it assesses your skin and then it gives you a little skincare routine, but it only lets me wash my face for 40 seconds. 40 seconds is not long enough, my friends. Just gonna turn it on and then move the cleanser around a little bit. You can probably hear it vibrating. And I just love it because I feel like it gets a bit of a deeper clean than I would get if I just used my hands or a face cloth. And silicone's really great because it's antibacterial. You don't have to worry about it. Oh, there's the intense vibration. You don't have to worry about it getting like disgusting like you would a face cloth. The only thing I wish is that this one had, see, it's done already. That was so short. I didn't even wash the rest of my face. The only thing I wish that this Luna had was a USB charging port. I'll plug into the wall. It has batteries that you have to change, which is unfortunate, but we'll see how long they last. I really like washing my face, so this could take a while. We'll speed it up. And then, like I said, I'd be in the shower so I could rinse all of this off in the shower, but we out here. And then normally I would uh, be out the shower and you just wanna pat your face dry, never rub. I'm very afraid of getting wrinkles. I do not want to age. I wanna be a MILF. I do all the things I can to protect my skin. So if you're going for a little self-care night, you could always use one of Glossier's masks. They've got this Mega Greens Galaxy Pack. That one is like a detoxifying mask. And then this moisturizing moon mask. I, I love them. I didn't use masks very often before this. These are so, so great. My next step, well, the one that Glossier tells me to do is using the solution. It's an exfoliating liquid. It's really interesting because you just push the top with a cotton round and it comes out. And I really like that because I actually just finished my other one and I was able to get every single drop out of there. And I love that it's because then you don't waste any product. So this step kind of replaced a toner for me, but I didn't really, it isn't a toner and they're very 
good about telling you that. It's a chemical exfoliator. So because I started using this, I exfoliate less in the shower. I really, really did notice a big difference in the amount of blackheads on my nose. I always thought that I would just have those forever. I was like, well, whatever. It's not like a zit where it's this big red thing and it's very distracting on your face. Like no one really notices blackheads, I think. And so I was just ready to settle for living with them forever. But this product really did bring down the number of them a lot. So I am wowed by it. Definitely one of my must have Glossier products if you are new to Glossier. So usually I just let that soak in a bit. I do find your skin is a bit tacky and sticky after using the solution. So I don't like to do a lot to it while it's sticky like that. It's a little bit awkward to touch your face. So then thanks to that screenshot from Glossier, I did not know this step and I'm really glad I added it into my routine, but I got their soothing face mist rose water spray and I just spray a little and it's supposed to prep your skin for all your serums and your moisturizers because it like opens your pores back up again so that all those good ingredients that they have in their products can actually work in your skin. So the next step is serums. Glossier has three serums. They're the Super Bounce, Super Pure, and Super Glow. I love the Super Bounce one because it's all about moisture and my skin is always dry. I live in Calgary, so this one's really great. Super Pure is kind of like a acne fighter, blemish fighter. It's got those kinds of ingredients in it. And then Super Glow is supposed to be for dull, tired skin. I do actually find that this one makes my skin look so good in the morning and most days I won't wash my face again in the morning because I really like my complexion and usually after I do my skincare routine it's pretty shiny, sometimes it's a bit red and I don't wanna look like that first thing in the morning so I don't always do anything in the morning. If I'm gonna use all three, I just put a little drop of each in my hand. So I'll do that now. They really do go a long way. I, as you can probably tell, Glossier actually recently, probably about a year ago, changed their bottles. So they're actually 30 milliliters instead of 15. These ones are 15 and I got them forever ago and I'm just finally getting to the bottom of them. This one is actually a new one that I got in the skincare edit. So they made mini sizes of everything for that little Christmas edition. And then I just rub them together a bit and press them into my face like this. I think I'm gonna take a little bit more of the Super Bounce today, just cause my skin's feeling a little bit dry. Welcome to winter in Calgary. Looking glossier already. Next step is bubble wrap. This is a lip and eye cream from Glossier. Very rarely do I use it on my lips because usually I'll have a chocolate before bed and then I just feel like it's ruined. <laughs> I just take the tiniest amount and I separate it between two fingers and then I just splot it under my eyes. And I like to do these corners here so that maybe one day I won't get crow's feet. When I first got bubble wrap, I was a little bit nervous because it is in like a metal can so it's obviously a bit pressurized which probably helps you get all the product out so you're not wasting your money i really find when you first buy it it comes out so suddenly and then you have so much product and you're like i don't know what to do with it all definitely be careful if you're starting a new bubble wrap or trying it for the first time and then if you have a little extra just pop it under the lips there apparently the skin under your eye and on your lips are very similar. They're both very sensitive, so you have to take care of them really well. One of the final steps, Glossier Priming Moisturizer Rich. Glossier has two moisturizers. This one is the rich one. They have one that's a bit of a lighter version, so if you're naturally more oily or your skin's pretty hydrated, I would recommend trying that one. But like I said, my skin's pretty dry, so I use the the rich version and I just sort of take some on my finger, put it on my face like this, make sure you get the neck and then you just rub it in. I usually take my earrings out before my shower so I would also do my ears because your ears also age people. 
you gotta protect them from the wrinkles. Very important step. Every single person should be wearing sunscreen. I love this sunscreen and I'm really bummed because they actually don't ship it to Canada. I think it has something to do with what they rate SPF in different countries and certain ingredients and they probably have to include French and all those kind of things. So real bummer, but every time I go to the States, I try and get one shipped to wherever I'm going or if you're in LA or New York, you can visit the Glossier store, which is really exciting. I've been to the New York one, but I have not been to the LA one where they have the Glossier Canyon, which looks just like Antelope Canyon in Arizona, but in Glossier. And it's pink. It's really cool. One day, maybe. Anyway, this is their Invisible Shield. It's SPF 35, according to them. And this sunscreen is so good for putting on under your makeup. It does not leave any white cast like a lot of sunscreen. Honestly, barely feels like it's there. It's clear, it's awesome, and it kind of Still has that sunscreen smell, but not in like a very overly scented way. I'm sure it's just whatever the sunscreen ingredients are. Finally for my face, this is Glossier's Future Dew. This is their latest product release. It's an oil serum hybrid. I usually put this on in the morning if I'm feeling like I just need an extra boost of hydration, because like I said, I won't do this full skincare routine in the morning again. And this is just really great because it gives you that Glossier glow that everyone covets. It's also this very interesting pinky peachy color. So I wonder if it kind of doubles as a CC cream or if it's just the color comes out. I only got that product because it was in the skincare edit, which I purchased to have mini sizes to take with me to the gym, which has been very helpful. And it gives you that nice little Glossier shine. Look at that glow. Ooh, wow. And then final step in the routine is some balm.com. I talked about this in my get ready with me video, my everyday makeup. These lip balms are the bomb. They are so moisturizing. I love that they come in so many colors and scents. There really is something for everybody. This one is the birthday one, so it's got a bit of a sparkle to it and it smells like cake. Amazing, probably not great if you're trying to stay away from sweets and you're on a diet or something, but smells so good. My, it's probably my favorite one out of all of them. And I always rub the excess on my on the back of my hands. And I have seen many people on Twitter talk about that one soft spot on the back of your hand where you rub your excess bomb.com. So that's that, that's getting on ready with me and Glossier. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you enjoyed my mini review of all of the products. If you have any questions about Glossier, what it's done for my skin, what my skin type is, all those kind of things, I would love to chat with you in the comments down below and a full face Glossier makeup video coming soon. Thank you guys so much. Subscribe, like, bells, all those things. See you next week.